Hi guys, welcome back to my Drag Race Season 11 live reaction series and we're here for the live reaction of episode 9 but really quickly before I start I just want to say a massive, massive thank you for all the views and likes and comments on last week's video where I had Emily Rose Jones and we're so, so grateful for all the nice comments and fingers crossed she will be back at some point within the season, I'm not sure when, it's all sort of down to schedule and difficulties, that kind of thing but we really appreciate, like we had so much fun, there's going to be some incredible outtakes so I can't wait to show you all of that and obviously I had the cat outfit last time and I live and love cats and I mean inspired right now hello like I love The Lion King and with The Lion King coming back for the remake of the live action film this summer I just had to do a lion sort of look and outfit and I actually did this makeup myself like first time ever doing any sort of drawing like Emily did the whiskers last week and then this I mean like I don't know I'd, like let me know what you guys think of this whole outfit seriously like I mean I've got my leopard print going on oh I don't know how to do a line maybe not I don't know and luckily actually it's not as warm as last week when I was in the onesie whereas this is like it's more just sort of warm on the head area and I don't know I hope I can see between this fur sticking down but anyway so let me know what you guys think of this outfit I absolutely live I can't wait to just do some pictures and lip syncs to the Lion King seriously oh my god so without any further ado let's just crack straight on to the live reaction of episode 9 Shantae you both stay Epic moments when they both stayed. Epic lip sync as well. We were just like a bit scared that Brooklyn was going to go. I don't know because Evie was turning out. They were both incredible and they deserved to say. So I'm really happy all round. And the lip sync was incredible. So that was like something from All Stars. Like it's been compared to the Tatiana Alyssa Edwards All Stars 2 lip sync. And that was like All Star level. Mm -hmm. Last week a bitch was telling me that I was talentless. But I just won. See, God is good. Miss Evie, you reap what you sow. She is doing all that. She's like, mm, you were wrong, I won. But she's definitely copping an attitude. It's gonna be to her detriment. I, I packed what I packed to get here. At this point, I can't show any more than Silky. And I did wonderful this week. So there's nothing else I can show but do what I'm supposed to do and show why I'm an um, exceptional drag queen. That's fair. Maybe she's peaked then. If she thinks that she has done her best drag and brought it each week and whatnot, I haven't been living for all of her looks. That was a good look. I liked it. I know some of you didn't, but maybe she's peaked. The library is about to be open. Ordinarily, I would wear glasses on the reading challenge, but I'm not wearing glasses. Oh, Fundamental. Yeah, I'm not wearing glasses with this outfit, so. Collection from LA Eyeworks. I'd like to use this sickening pair right here. I'd like to use this sickening pair. Can't believe I'm about <laughs> to say this, but bye, Bruno. Oh. Come back. Plastic tiara. Alpha. That's exactly what you're going to need when they send you home. What's that? A plastic tiara. Oh, OK. <laughs> I got myself a plastic tiara and I'm happy with it. You have to explain that. The I got it. It was like decent. They just put the cricket noise over the top. It was actually funny. The resting bitch face of the season. Are you sure you just haven't been resting? On your talent. Oh! A double reverse read. Miami Dolphin called. They want their shoulders back. Oh. <laughs> Silky nutmeg ganache. Silky's drag transformation is incredible. She goes from a busted looking man into just busted looking. <laughs> <laughs> Silky, you gave the electric chair for that hair, bitch. You always come in here looking reckless. <laughs> sugar, 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 what can I say? Fossilized, prehistoric drag. I'm sending it to you to retirement home, Grandma. Why y'all uh hoes -oh. ain't left? Y'all is trifling. You're not funny, bitch. Where's that cricket button from DragCon? I need it. I'm sentencing you to lies at the mess spot for those toes, bitch. You lucky you're not wearing sandals because I would have had them zooming into those feet. You have to get it on a different episode. <laughs> Self-producing. You know, I'm actually really excited to hit the road with you. It wasn't until I saw that ass that I truly understood the meaning of a drug mule. <laughs> Oh, gaping. 
Girl, you so skinny. You got people in Somalia sending you food. <laughs> the only good thing about your milk is that it has an expiration date. Oh. <laughs> he got an expiration date. Ain't yours coming soon. <laughs> Oh my god, read in the safe zone. A reading challenge where the people being read read back. Oh, read, 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 for the girl. Yeah, yeah, oh my god, like they're literally just backing it back to each other. I swear. Miss Fanji. Don't get the divorce papers. Now the real reason I keep kissing you is because it's the only way to get you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Silky nutmeg. She is loud. Rue, isn't she precious? Yes. No, really, isn't that precious? <laughs> <laughs> last season, you had your 20 minutes of fame, but this season, all you're leaving with is Brooklyn's last name. Oh, we got rhyming up in here, poetry. Miss RuPaul! Oh, shit. $100,000. It's gonna be real nice. Uh -huh. We be up in here working and waiting on you at the door, but you could come in and say, hello, hello, hello! <laughs> that was, um, wait, what? That, that, that was an observation? <laughs> I'm truly surprised that you're still here, Boo Boo. But I think for us all, your elimination need to come. Hayaku, Hayaku. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? It's hurry in Japanese, bitch. Hurry and go home. I'm not Japanese. Ganache. Yes, you are fat. Yes, your hair is nappy. But bitch, if y'all run up on me, I'm gonna get real chappy. What up, ho? What up, ho? <laughs> that wasn't a read. You just drained us, bitch. To be fair, I don't think any of them were reads, really. Maybe one or two. Like, she just took it into her own. I think it should be Brooklyn. Brooklyn Heights. Yay! Yeah. Hey! She was funny. You need to flex your comedy improv muscles as you fight the law in TV's newest guilty pleasure, LADP, Los Angeles Drag Patrol. <laughs> okay. Are we in prison? Get those nuts away from my face. So, Brooklyn, who do you choose for yourself? I'm gonna choose Miss Nina West. Thank you. I didn't pick Vanjie as my partner. Vanjie's great at being Vanjie. I wouldn't say Vanjie's a wonderful actor. I pick Nina because Nina's great at acting, she's great at improv, mm -hmm. and I know she could kind of really help me and guide me. I think, yeah, the, the comedy aspect, Nina West, but you also don't want to have the distraction with Vanjie and not get the work done. I get it. Wait, is this bitch even funny? Next, a curious C. Davenport and Evie Oddly. That means Silky Nutmeg Ganache will be working with Sugar Cane. Ooh, pulling the page. Brooklyn is splitting all the strongest players because she knows that if she put, like, two good actresses together that she wouldn't have a chance mm -hmm. of getting anywhere in this challenge. Uh -oh. I can tell that she's really trying to rig this in her favor. Smart, though. She won the challenge she had. It's a detriment to choose who goes with who, and you've got Silky Big Personality with Sugar. So we'll see. I'm just nervous in general because we all know my history with acting challenges. <laughs> Beyonce, what? I think I have an ability to really coach Brooke and help her through this because she's not the strongest actor. I'm a little nervous because I know how I am and I feel like I might worry about Brooklyn a little bit and try to tend to her needs more so than mine. It's an interesting team though because they're both kind of like, Brooklyn's been slaying it and Nina West is good at comedy and it's kind of her challenge. So this could go really well or it might go quite bad, but I'm, I'm excited for this as a team. I'm gonna need to see your driver's license and registration. Mine's in my wallet over there. Because lions can drive cars. Beep, beep. I don't know if you know the time when bootleg CDs were, you know, available and people would be selling them out their trunks for yeah. real, for real. Yeah, the boosters. Yeah. I mean, I feel like, yeah, like Rue is older than all of them, so she knows the time. 
I'm trying to really like just prepare with this character so I can have more fun, and uh, especially with Silk, because she's got such a big personality. Right. You don't want to be bulldozed by Silky, but we'll see. To be fair, Sugar was really good in the Why Gotta Be Black Panther, so I feel like she could bring the personality, so we'll see. Evie and Akira, that sounds like a sitcom already. I mean, we're ready. Nina and Tina. Failure is an opportunity to learn. What do you think the failure was? The failure for me was I was really trying to be super calculated. I was like in my head trying to think about what Whoopi would say and also like if this is Whoopi and like am I saying enough? I was attacking this myself. This wasn't any fun. It, I, yeah. I wasn't having fun. Make my egg curb sandwich. These guys are so funny though. I liked her from season nine on the judging panel and Cheyenne Jackson is so... Those lips, like, oh my God, he's so cute. Come on over to my trunk, baby. How you doing, girl? I know you want something up here. <laughs> Come get these good old hip pants. Oh, I love challenges in the streets though. Like the All Stars won. Oh my God, seriously. You look like you need some hip pants. Turn around, let me see. Oh, I don't have a lot. Oh, you white, honey. I got this just for you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you explain to me what these are here? You got a wife? I do. You want your wife to look like Beyonce? Uh, sure. Kim Kardashian? Yes. Now, if you want Kim Kardashian, she got an extra filler. You got to put that in with it. Ma'am, are these legal? Honey, you've been working all day. I'm going to give you a nice piece of hot chicken. Oh, so you like oh we know how to, like, distract I, I, them. I do like chicken, but yeah. officers, yeah. officers, this yeah. is the woman that I've been telling about. This is the one I call. Okay. She done so many these busted hip pads. I'm trying to get my groove back. I'm a widow, and she gave me these hip pads. Child, listen, I was with my young man, and he, a chicken fell out of my hip pad. Oh! You know what, I think we're gonna have to search her. Okay, I'd uh, like you to... Oh, you gotta take be me out on a date down. before you do me. this, I'm honey. Be you down. Okay, oh, there's oh. something. It could take me out on a date. Oh, yes. See? That's what she put in there. <laughs> Ma'am, does this iron belong to you? No, it belongs to the Holiday Inn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is this, uh... Oh, I'm gonna... That's for finger looking out, booty stuff. Oh, you got that? No, officer, don't... Oh, ooh. Yeah, she did that. She's nasty. Hey, ain't it good? It's warm. Yeah, it is warm. <laughs> I thought you could, like, snatch her pearls off there and, like, strangle her. Oh, my Silky's literally, like, in her element. This is, like... <laughs> Sugar's killing it as well, though. She's actually really funny. <laughs> Three, four, four. Ooh, it's for sale. Sugar could be in trouble. I think the chicken had more airtime than Sugar did. Yeah, obviously, Silky. It was a bit of a bulldoze moment, but I mean, it was funny all the same. I was enjoying it. Like, Silky killing it. I don't know about you, but I like spending a little naked time in my own backyard. I'm naked right now. Under my uniform. <laughs> Same. I mean... <laughs> I don't even want to look. <laughs> oh, God. She's like everything. I can't. We've received a complaint about public nudity. I am living my life. There's nothing wrong with nudity. I'm not ashamed of my body. Are you ashamed of my body? I definitely am ashamed. I'm definitely not ashamed of your body, Brooklyn. Would you hold this for a second? Oh, okay. Uh, would you hold this for a second? I see something. Wow. <laughs> What's your name, ma'am? Starfire Glamazon. And she's like, that's all mine. I need Woman to see your eyes, ma'am. My eyes? Yes. Are you trying to connect with me? Do you make a habit of being naked? Absolutely. And why? Why? Because I'm here to express my body and feel it. You mm. see that? I, I did, I saw go up that. And higher. I saw that. Are you a dancer? I teach interpretive dance down at the community center. I mean, that is really bold and brave though to be naked. I assume she's naked in there, like, because it's obviously blurred, but... 
What's the problem? This lady is in my yard. Oh my god, look like Rosie O'Donnell. Oh wait, this is your yard? This is my green turf. Oh, I thought that this was your residence. I live right next door. This is Darlene. Okay, yard. so what is what is y'all's relationship? We've been neighbors for two years now. Uh, two Hi, two Darlene. very long years, man. Please don't touch She's me. She's a very lonely woman. I, my husband happens to travel for business. Why are you so repressed? I'm not so repressed, ma'am. I want to know if that is alcohol. Oh, I don't drink. Ooh. I'm a level four vegan. Right. What is a level four vegan? I eat nothing that casts a shadow. I'm a level zero vegan because I eat the antelope. Well, we can start with her baby feeders being out in the middle of God's green Look earth. Them. Touch okay. them. Listen, touch touch them. the skin, honey. How does that make you feel? Oh, confused. I don't know how, how I got in on this. <laughs> please, Officer please Jackson. remove my hands from your breast, no. man. You need. This is the problem, officer. Come on, Nina. Hilarious. Like, no surprise. But the gagger for this whole thing is Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Brooklyn's like turning it out. It's time for me to do some yoga. Could no. you just stand there for a second? I mean, twin in, oh, cloop. I mean, all about that cat life. Hey, Katie girl, it's your fight. Miss Plastic went to the cop and started uh, uh, humping him. And I told her, only do that when you go blank. So she must have went blank the first second. Oh, awkward. Why are you only talking to her? Are you judging me? Because I'm from the street. Hey, hey wait, 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 what's up, Mel? Where your tays at, Mama? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. One kitty at a time here. Your side of the story. Go. I can't get my milk because this bitch done slept with my man. Oh, plastic. You got milk because she slept She slept with my man. I came to get the milk from her. What's your side of the story, ma'am? I was on my way. Yeah, she's lying. She's lying. You had your side. I was going to be Are with Bella in the local production of Cats. I'm so confused. I think they're fighting over milk. Or the I don't or know. her man. Why you I, with my man, ho? I mean, Van, she's look is incredible. Give me that cat woman. I live for leopard print, clearly. But I feel like it's a bit unco uncohesive and confusing, and we're not really getting. It's a lot of shouting and fighting. Part of a ray, part of a ray, uh, 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 and time step and go. I mean, cute. I mean, for guest judges, they are doing like the extraness. Like, they have been given a task to do. That ain't Broadway. See, the bitch is lying. That cat got alopecia. She's sick. She need to be put down. She wishes she could dance as much as me, bitch. I can't. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yeah. Oh, I oh, 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 I mean, it's a bit of a train wreck disaster. I'm kind of like liking the just hilarity of the drama and the, it's so random, but they in trouble. Two working girls? No, two twerking girls. <laughs> They're performers. I don't mean to be rude to you, but this is my con, this is my con for over 35 years. Okay. I've okay. twerked my ass from that end to that end. Okay. I told this box to be a bitch not to come back over here no more. I just wanted to leave, officer. Do you guys know each other? I never met her in my whole booty shaking life. I dropped Ooh. it low around the world. These junk hoes don't know none of the history on what it is to be a, a street worker. I got a YouTube channel with lots of followers. <laughs> There's only one way to settle this. We're gonna have to see you in action here. So we've got like the old school twerker and then the new YouTuber, young, oh, trying to take the spot. Oh my oh, God, no. the back went. <laughs> See, I get the story straight away. I just don't get the cat story. Mm -mm. I met some man named Marky Mark. He gave me a fish. Are you kidding me? What do I look like I kid to you, baby? Wait, do you have... Do you, you know Marky Mark or something? Do you sleep with him too? My dad, Mr. Wahlberg, told me that he used to be a rapper. And his... Marky Mark. His name is Mark. And... Oh! I'm so confused. Is that her daughter? Oh! Like... Oh! Oh! I'm confused. <laughs> oh, it's my baby. Can we twerk this out, Ma? Oh, it's my baby. Can we twerk this out, Ma? She slept with the dad on the corner. 
And then gave birth. This is beautiful, but you're both under arrest, unfortunately. Wait, so I'm gonna get you. I need you to gather up your things. Listen, twerking is illegal. No, 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 ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Twerking is illegal. Twerking is a blessing. Twerking is a blessing, baby. Can I just get a snack, my sugar loaf? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I think like I'm actually really like Akira is funny. Evie was kinda giving a good look and doing a bit, but Akira was decent. I think this is gonna be like safe zone. Something has come over me and I allow myself to be free with a splash of foolishness. That's me. Free with a splash of foolishness. Yeah, I don't know if it's like based on the teams as twos or individual or... Silky can't even start to paint her face. Silky! Ooh, Silky! What, what is she doing? Why are you not putting on makeup? I don't need to do nothing but a lip today. Oh, okay. Mm. You at least gotta put okay. something on. I mean, if you're gonna... Listen, girl, you can't be hiding behind the mask, Valentina. I'm doing a 10 minute mug today. Did you finish your costume? To be fair, I would still... Let me do that. Oh my god. <laughs> like, the unprofessionalness. I would do it, and then you've got the time spare to sit and be like, here I am, I'm just going to sit here. I don't think I'm lip-syncing for my life tonight because of my performance. Fair enough, but don't coast. Ru looks good, she's given turquoise mint, like white icy with a green mint gown. I like it, it's okay, it's it's cute and I like the little hair, the flower in the hair, it sort of works in the side and it's kind of sequency, a little bit. Category is face kini fantasy. <laughs> no Valentina mask. First up, the Reverend Dr. Silky Nutmeg Ganache. Michelle, I think <laughs> this is a rage. Oh, wow. Okay. I like it. Different. I love all black. I do understand why she didn't need to do the face. But it's a risk underneath there. It's, oh my god, it's like a beetle. Oh my god. It's okay. I mean, it's creative compared to what she's done before, so. Sugar cane. My fair skin lady. My foreskin oh, lady. Wow. <laughs> My foreskin lady. It's very my fair lady. Yes, I like it. It's nice. I like the black and white and pink. It's cute. It's mm -hmm. gonna be like Bo Peep esque. The face. Oh my god, it's crazy. Oh, we got a tail going on. I'm a steampunk fantasy. I'm wearing this gorgeous hand constructed yes. wire zebra mask. Zebra, zebra, print mask, the mohawk. Oh my god. She's incredible though. I just. Her nickname is Dot. Her favorite <laughs> dance is the polka. <laughs> that is. Oh my god. It's giving me like peppermint. Club kid look, but this is actually better. Like this is oh my, this is an it's probably her best look. Red and white, the lashes, the dots. Nah, that is incredible. Well done, Nina. Oh my god, she's giving me like superhero vibe. A little bit of Aquarius kind of superhero ball look, and it's okay. It's. Red and black though. I liked it, but compared to some of the others. It is very plastic tiara. I feel like I've seen something similar like that with her. I like it. I like the boots. I like the everything, the face. It is definitely her sort of version of this challenge for the runway. I like it though. It's giving me very like Maleficent. Wow, okay, creative, different. Very trinity that took. I'll get some hips, I'll get some abs, I'll get some breasts, I'll get some face. Creative, clever version. And to be fair, when we saw Rue last year with that face, I was like, has she had some work done? What's the deal? <laughs> oh my god. 
better than last week, better than the dinosaur. I know she's liking a bit of a green theme. Sex toy lips so that you're supposed oh to stick in your mouth to keep you from giving too much teeth. Instead, I <laughs> show nothing but teeth. Oh my god, yeah, it's like the neon hair with the eyebrows, the, those lips, insane. Like, that is a really good, probably one of the best this week. Mm -hmm. This week you wow. performed as pairs, but tonight you'll be judged individually. Uh-oh. When I call your name, Definitely please step plastics forward. Plastic's in trouble. Maybe Miss Banji. Evie Oddly. Nina West. Ladies. Safe. You are safe. That was understandable because they weren't bad, but they weren't like over the top like Silky and Brooklyn. So I feel like Silky and Brooklyn would be on the top. Comedy, you're just somebody that has it and people want to watch you. As far as being a scene partner, there were times that I couldn't hear Sugar. There were times that I wanted the focus to be on her for a minute and then we'll come back to you. But there wasn't much give and take there. Tonight on the runway, um, I do think that the idea is fine, the roach with this, you're a roach, correct? A fly. A fly with no wings is a roach. Oh. I also oh. thought maybe roach too. Are you wearing any paint under that face, Keeney? A little bit. What, just a lip? Like lip. Mm. Yes, because yeah. my eyes wasn't seen when I put it on. Well, I feel like you could have, because it's a drag show, so we want to see part of what you are under, and I feel like that's a cop out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it was very relaxed and unprofessional of her in the workroom. I don't know. I get that she was going for that look, but she could have done a bit more. This is very pretty and very finished. Thank you. But oh. that was tough, that one. You had to do that scene with this crazy pad saleswoman. <laughs> and I saw you trying to be present, but I think what was missing is I felt like Sugar was being Sugar. to get my groove back. And I wanted you to be more of this church woman. You were able to use your body. And I think for wow. once, you let go. I sure did. <laughs> so all those things you say you can't do in the past, you just showed us that you could. Thank you. Nina was awesome, too, with Yeah, you. she was. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without her. And your look is amazing. You're like a glittery zebra horse. Your face paint is fully tied in with it. We can see that. We can see your paint. We can see the details. That's what I, in particular, look for. Just as long as you don't say the S word, silhouette. But I'm going to have to say silhouette. <laughs> because yeah. you're wearing a pair oh, of pants that have a stirrup. Who that is? OK, that's the little strap that goes under your foot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, got yeah, one yeah. of those, uh, right? Because okay. they make your leg go tubular. So instead of having shape in your Ooh, leg, it looks like tube, yeah. tubes, mm, like the mm, blow up mm. people outside of a car dealership. Right, oh, that. No. But also, mm -mm. part of the silhouette could have been a little bit of a boob. You're padding in your hips, so to balance it out in something like that, right. silhouette, it will help. Yeah, okay, it's it's not executed as tightly as it could have been, so I, yeah, um, that's a shame. The leg, uh-huh. Tonight on the runway, you always look so pretty. But I can't tell you how much I wish it was an actual latex face bikini because it's not the full face kini that I'm getting all the way around, which was the challenge. Uh-oh. In the improv, when I gave I you mean... the sobriety test and I gave you that silly count and you actually did it, but then added like a cooter slam, it was awesome. Can you say that? I oh. hope so. <laughs> I want to say it, cooter slam. <laughs> cooter slam. And I found it interesting that when you had nowhere left to go, yeah. you ended up back in the Asian accent. Don't you know that? I didn't even know I was doing it. Honestly, that's, that's like my yeah, real that's, voice. That's not good. Well, no, this like, is your real voice. No, like I didn't even know that I was doing it. Well, it happened oh, again, no. and I, I don't want you to fall on a crutch because I feel like you're more than just being an Asian stereotype. Yeah. Asian pride and Asian stereotypes are two different things, right? We want you to stay in Asian pride. Working with you was one of the highlights for me yesterday. You really you seemed to know who this person was. The There's just a lot of confidence and a lot of calm about you. Mm -hmm. I was impressed with her, she's good. I feel like she could actually be more likely to win than Silky. I think it's going to be Brooklyn's going to win and Akira would be second and then Silky third. I actually enjoyed seeing her. Like, Silky's just funny, but she was like the usual over the top and compared to her look, Akira's is better. So, well done Akira, she is probably going to be second. Brooklyn's definitely going to win. 
Since I've been here, I was afraid to lose that poised, elegant Akiria, but I finally realized, you know, that's the best part of yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Like the pageant side, it's the same with Trinity that took actually ironically with the look because you've got the pageant side but you lose that and add the comedy and the not so elegant looks and actually she's turning it out so it's going that sort of Trinity Taylor vibe and direction. So I'm impressed with her. Great deal of spunk there. Spunk. I think Akira should change her name to Clit Eastwood because she made my day. <laughs> if Brooklyn is most improved, then Akira's best actress tonight. It's genius. Yeah, okay. She could actually win this. I still feel like it'll probably go to Brooklyn, but we'll see. Silky Nutmeg Ganache. You're safe. Thank you. Akira C. Davenport. Girl, this week you twerked your way up into the top. <laughs> Congratulations, you are the winner of this week's challenge. Well done, Akira. Another win. Well deserved because she was good. Brooklyn was incredible too. I really. At least she kind of like didn't feel down about being in the bottom last week and doing bad at the Snatch Game. She kind of just stepped it up and she was. She was good with a good look, but so was Akira, so... Brooklyn Heights, you're safe. Thank you very much. Vanjie, your alley cat fell flat. Plastique, one word, meowch. And I ain't lying. Sugar cane. Safe. You are safe. She was good, she was okay, and the look's good. I, I just, oh, Vanjie and Plastic are my favourites, and I, it was inevitable that one of them is gonna go as they've been kind of sticking in that safe zone. Oh, I'm about to start crying already. It's Miss Vanjie's first time lip syncing since season 10. Oh, just girl. Because I wanna do. I feel like. Because I love them both so much. I kind of want Miss Vanjie to stay more than Plastique. But it's, I, I can't make this decision, so... For your life. Oh, 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 we're getting some... I feel like that is not a good pant for Vanjie to perform, but she's still serving it. She's definitely high energy though. I mean, I've seen Plastique perform. I know she can perform. She does the splits. She's doing the tribute to Alyssa, which is nice because she knows she might be in trouble. Alyssa taught her well. Ooh, you did a split behind Vanjie, so no one really saw it. No, but I, I. I feel like it's not the song for Plastique. She needs the high energy, Vogan, splits and everything, like, do a bit of Ariana Grande. <laughs> I mean, Fitzpatrick, she's just unrecognisable. She just looks like some sort of alien superhero, like... <laughs> yeah. Well done both, but Plastique seemed defeated. It wasn't high energy like she can do. Probably not the best song for her. Vanjie, Shantae, you stay. I am I'm happy with that result. I feel like... <sighs> Plastique Tiara, you, my dear, are the real thing. Now, sashay away. I've grown so much from my time being here, and you showed me how to be myself. And for that, I, I thank you. Plastic Tiara, House of Edwards, turning it, giving some looks and splits and performances. I would love to make it to the end, but I'm proud of myself. She came eighth. I really hope my family accept me for me. 
no regrets. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh my god, can I take these out? Ah! So that is episode 9 done. We have lost Plastique Tiara and I could kind of see it coming because she's kind of plateaued and obviously she wasn't the best in the challenge or the runway look so it kind of felt right. Like I said, like obviously I don't think it was her song for the lip sync of Miss Vanjie. Turning it out, so I'm kind of glad she stayed. It was a good episode though. I mean, Cheyenne Jackson, oh my god. Like, it's so cute to see them. I really, really loved like just the whole like the police side of it. Like in teams of two and it was just so much fun and going out into the like out outside because they don't often do like outside challenges these days because obviously press the cameras like how are you supposed to get them hidden undercover but it was really good I enjoyed it. In terms of the face kini realness runway looks there were some good looks like it is a it is like this is like competing with the club kid look like I really like the creativity my top looks I think were definitely Evie Oddly, Brooklyn Heights, Nina West and Akira was good as well like obviously she won but I liked more the creativity and Sort of originality of Evie's and Nina's and even Brooklyn's as well like it's kind of hard to pick like I feel like Nina's was so so good I love the color palette and she's actually given like a good look I liked how it was like a sort of suit pant with the blazer Evie's weird as always like dripping sort of neon and the hair and the lips red lip and the eyes and then obviously green and black so I do feel like she gives that color palette a lot but I like it I feel like top two either Evie or Nina? Do I have to pick? I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. She's given some good looks and I really, really do like Evie's looks and this is definitely better than the last couple of looks. So I think, yeah, I'm going to give top two to Evie Ardley, but Nina West was definitely up there and Brooklyn Heights. Now, I personally wouldn't boot any of these looks, really. Maybe give a newt here or there, but I feel like Plastic Tiara's look was very similar to stuff we've seen before, and it was given, like, Maleficent, and she didn't do the, obviously, challenge of covering the full face. So, maybe it's a bit off the mark there. And Silky was decent, but a bit of a cop-out with not really having any sort of face makeup. It's kind of the opposites. Like, she literally covered everything, and Plastic didn't really cover much. I like... Obviously black, they're both in black, it was good, but obviously she had a concept of like the fly without wings and the hairspray, but I don't know, I feel like basically both of them, top boots, plastic and silky, I can't decide. So that's pretty much it for this video, hope you guys all enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, if you did I'll be back on Monday for the live reaction to Untucked, so stay tuned for that, let me know in the comments below what you think of my look, oh my god I was like, I'm so like happy I'm the first time ever like doing like that face paint myself, like ah, just oh my god I just live, so let me know what you guys think, also let me know who should have gone home, if you agreed with the whole challenge, the lip sync, everything, and who was your favourite on the runway, so thank you all for watching, I will see you on Monday for Untucked, bye guys! Real. Full body reveal and changes it to like platinum yeah, blonde. Yeah, like I, if anything, you see the cape and think, oh, there could be a reveal in there. I wasn't expecting a hair reveal either. Absolutely not. I was like, oh my god, live in. So yeah, uh, for me, like, mm, this is a shoot. Shoot. Oh, <gasps> oh my god. I mean, you gotta do. If you put, if you're. I mean, if you mess in, up, Celine, you've gotta do. The